Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I had the privilege today to once again work at the Share Center that is a, a ministry of our uh, church and our community. Um, it continues to thrive, and what a blessing it is to work with so many hardworking folks who are seeking to serve those who live around them. Um, just today, we served over uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of, a, of about 150 families. Uh, last um, Wednesday and Thursday, we served over 500 families. Um, what a blessing it is to give out of the, uh, out of the abundance of God's grace. Um, it's not because we have much, but it is because God has given us so very much. Um, these Wednesday night times are really just a time of, of a brief word of scripture and prayer. Tonight, once again, I want to look at a psalm. Uh, during these times of uh, uncertainty, during times of isolation, during times of difficulty, it is often that so many, and, and myself included, turn to the psalm. And sometimes, I don't know which psalm, and so I just open and begin with a psalm, and, and sometimes it is a psalm that I haven't read in a really, really long time, or one that I've just forgotten about. Um, tonight, this week, has been kind of that. I've been meditating on Psalm 116 that I haven't read in a really really long time. And so I want to begin tonight, this evening, by reading Psalm 116. If you have your Bibles, you may want to read along with me. Psalm 116. I'll be reading out of the English Standard Version, the ESV. I love the Lord because He has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy, because He inclined His ear to me, Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. The snares of death encompassed me. The pains of Sheol laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, I pray, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord. And righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, He saved me. Return, O my soul, to your rest. For the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed, even when I spoke, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, all mankind are liars. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O oh Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. What a powerful psalm that is. Um, it is a, a psalm of praise and honor to the gracious God of the universe, the God of all power, and the one who directs our steps and directs our paths. You know, every day 
that we open our eyes is an opportunity to praise God. I was sharing with, uh, with someone at the Share Center today, and she said something about a family member who, who seems to not be a believer and, and why she doesn't believe and she doesn't understand. And, and you know, I, I said to her, um, she asked a couple of other questions, but I said to her in just a couple of minutes, I said, for me, the Christian worldview is the only worldview that truly makes sense. It's the only one that, that calls me to find a place called home. It's the only one that really gives me hope and, and, and makes sense of everything and the way things are. The psalmist who's writing this has found that as well. Did you notice that little verse in there in the midst, that in, in the middle of, of this psalm where it says, it, it says, even in the midst of, of my anguish, even in the difficulty, even when I cried out and I was frustrated, I believed. You know, that's uh, maybe for me and you as well, that I know in my heart of hearts that there is a God who has created all things. I know in my heart of hearts that Jesus Christ is His Son. And that by grace and mercy, there is no hope outside of Him. I know that, that for those who believe, there is someone, there is uh, the Holy Spirit that has been put inside of me to convict me, to drive me back to God when, when I stray from Him. We have so much to be thankful for. After I read uh, that psalm, I was also um, drawn to uh, one of my favorite devotional and prayer books. It's called The Valley of Vision. And it's a collection of, of many old prayers. And each of the prayers uh, that are in there um, have, a, have a name, have a title. And I use this to launch me, myself, into a, a deeper time of prayer. Uh, this evening, I want to share one with you. It, the name of, of this prayer is God, the Source of All Good. O Lord God, who inhabits eternity. The heavens declare thy glory, the earth thy riches, the universe is thy temple, thy presence fills immensity, yet thou hast of thy good pleasure created life and communicated happiness. Thou hast made me what I am and given me what I have. In thee I live and move and have my being. Thy providence has set the bounds of my habitation and wisely administers all my affairs. I thank thee for thy riches to me in Jesus, for the unclouded revelation of him in thy word, where I behold his person, character, grace, glory, humiliation, sufferings, death, and resurrection. Give me to feel a need of his continual saviorhood and cry with Job, I am vile. With Peter, I perish. With the publican, be merciful to me, a sinner. Subdue in me the love of sin. Let me know the need of re renovation as well as of forgiveness in order to serve and enjoy thee forever. I come to thee in the all-prevailing name of Jesus with nothing of my own.
to plead. No works, no worthiness, no promises. I am often straying, often knowingly opposing thy authority, often abusing my own goodness, often abusing thy goodness. Much of my guilt arises from my religious privileges, my low estimation of them, my failure to use them to my advantage. But I am not careless of thy favor or regardless of thy glory. Impress me deeply with a sense of thine omnipresence, that thou art about my path, my ways, my lying down, my end. Church, what a powerful, powerful prayer that is. May we pray that way. May we be reminded moment by moment that God is great and we desperately need Him. You know, some of you this evening might find yourselves in the midst of struggle. Um, we are praying for you. Um, as we reach out, as we give you a call and and we ask how you're doing. Um, we, we are mindful um, that you may find yourself in, in struggle. You know, for some of us, sometimes the struggle is remembering that God is gracious and merciful. And also remembering that outside of Jesus Christ, by nature, we are sinners who need desperately a Savior. And for those of us who have put our faith in Jesus Christ, we have found that Savior. Praise be to God. Let's pray. Father God, we do love you. You are the all good. You are the one who has richly, richly blessed us. Father, help us to love because we have first been loved by you. Help us to be merciful because we have found mercy in you. Help us to be compassionate because you have first been compassionate towards us. Help us to be givers because you have given the blessed Son to us. We love you and we praise you. Father, we are mindful of those who, who may be in the midst of struggling with sickness, with those who are in the midst of uh, struggling with financial need. Um, Father, we pray that you would heal. We pray that you would uh, raise them to a level of financial stability. We thank you, God. We love you. In your son's name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you soon.